Hey everyone, in this video we'll solve this problem related to the concept of moment of inertia and this is an AITS problem. So basically we have a circular metal disc that is being rotated about a tangent that is passing through its plane. Another thing is the ha half part of the disc is folded over the other half and, they, and we have to comment on the moment of inertia in this particular case. Okay. Okay, so now let's draw a vertical line here. Now the moment of inertia of this disc about its diameter which is this yellow line that I just drew, is mr squared by 4. So we can easily find the i about the blue line now. Now using parallaxis theorem, i of the disc about the blue line as i about the yellow line, which is mr squared by 4, plus m into distance between the axis squared, which would be r squared. So this comes out to be 5 by 4 mr squared. So now I have the moment of inertia of this disc about this blue axis. So now I have to find the moment of inertia of uh, this half disc about this tangent axis. So the moment of inertia of this semi-disc about this diameter is going to be mr square by 4, exactly similar to the previous case, right? So this is uh, the tricky part to this problem. We cannot simply find the moment of inertia about this axis as the i about this axis plus md square. That would be wrong. And the reason for that is what parallaxis theorem actually states is the i about any axis is equal to the i about the center of mass of the body plus mass times the distance between the axis squared. So clearly the center of mass of this half disc is not here, right? It's actually somewhere over here. So we have to find the moment of inertia about that axis. So at a, uh, the center of mass of a semi disc is a radial distance of 4 r by 3 pi from its diameter. So first of all, we have to find ICM. We know the I about the red axis, right? So ICM, so I about the red axis, which is going to be MR squared by 4, this would be equal to the ICM, which we don't know about, plus M times the distance between the axis squared. And the distance between these two axes is 4R by 3 pi. So this would be 4R upon 3 pi whole squared. And from here, we can get the value of ICM. And now as we know ICM, now we can easily find out the I about this axis and the I about that axis. And let's call it I dash, which we can borrow up from the above equation, mass of the disk times the distance between the axes. So the distance between the axes is going to be r minus 4r by 3 pi. So substituting that into this equation, this will finally come out to be 5 by 4 mr squared minus 8 by 3 pi mr squared. So now, finally, if we have a disk of mass m, the moment of inertia about this axis, let's say it's io, io will be 5 by 4 mr squared. And the moment of inertia of a semi disk of mass m about this axis, let's say it's io dash, it is going to be 5 by 4 mr squared minus 8 by 3 pi mr squared. So in the given problem, they have asked us to find the relative change in the moment of inertia. So that will be delta i divided by i. So after calculations, this comes out to be almost 68 percentage. So that was it for this problem, guys. If you have any doubts, you can comment down below and please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.